squirrel, squirrel, squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> Squirrel, 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 and he went, oh, and then the squirrel came out, so I shut his cheeks again. It out. But when he burst it out, me and Chris were like, ah! <laughs> He's like, do <"Dude>, no! <laughs> hey there. We're just stopping for a little lunch break, do a little bit of schoolwork, you know, normal life, that kind of stuff. We're in this big park in Salem, Oregon, just enjoying the sunshine. Probably the last sunshine of the season, I'm thinking. It's been all super nice and warm in Boise, which is where we're headed until this week as we get moving in that direction that's supposed to be cold and rainy. What can you do? Continuing the journey, we've made it to Bend, Oregon. I've never been here before. Nice rolling hills and the river here. We stopped along this beautiful park, trying to get some dinner, some pizza. Having Marty as a navigator has been fun so far. We often roll into these towns. We've got 60 foot of truck and trailer to deal with. And she's like, hey, let's go downtown in these cutesy little town where there's like, 10 total parking spots, zero space to navigate. Six feet wide roads to drive through. But who doesn't want to try a restaurant that has five stars on Yelp? Anyway, she'll get better, maybe. So last leg of the journey, we stopped in the city of, uh, what town is this again? This is the town of nowhere. Oh, nowhere. We're in nowhere. So we were driving last night from, well, we started the day in Tillamook, Oregon. We were headed to Meridian, Idaho. And, you know, I was actually feeling good. I wanted to just push all the way through, but the kids couldn't take it anymore. They've been sitting in the truck for eight hours. So we pulled over and had a nice sleep on the Highway 20 on the way to Meridian. There's a river here and nice highway right next to where we were sleeping so kept the sounds of the country and the sounds of the city all mashed together into one so we're back in idaho we decided to boondock it up this week uh, we've just pulled into some blm land and we're cleaning up be wondering what in the heck we're doing and what, what's going on is we stopped to do some boondocking out on some BLM land and there were so many house flies so many anyway we left the house for a few hours I went and visited my brother and we got back there were dozens and dozens of flies in our house we spent one day shooting them out they came in the next day so this time we just opened the doors we're trying to herd them out like cats and it's like cats Yeah. We're here in Boise, Idaho, and because we're here, we have a whole bunch of errands to run and things to get done. So one of those things was Ellie needed to take her fall IRI test. So how'd you do, Ellie? Good. What did the teacher say? That I got above grade level. Above grade level. She's kind of excited about that. That's we might so have cool. to... 
it's a four. We might have to go ce celebrate. <laughs> One of the reasons that we come back to Boise about every six to eight weeks is because Caden has braces. Today we are going to his orthodontist appointment. We're hoping that maybe next appointment, so in two months, maybe he can get his braces off. I'm not positive. I don't know if that's going to happen, but we're going to hope. One hour later. Caden's orthodontist wants him to stay in his braces for at least another four months, possibly longer than that. Let's see your smile, Caden. Why? <laughs> Why? We have a few more months of coming back to Boise um, in order to get his braces done. So, what can you do? Okay, update on the fly situation. We got one of these. Oh yeah, it's a tennis racket that also electrocutes. We tried this, some, uh, got some vinegar in here. Read that you could trap flies, but didn't seem to do the case, so we took measures to the next step. Oh yeah. We've done actually a pretty good job of getting rid of the flies, because it's hard to find, find any now. Right there. The cool thing about that is it only shocks humans and flies. That's why it's scary. How do you know it shocks humans? There was a video that mom was watching oh, and I started watching it with her. And these people were being really bad so that they took one of those and they just went on the human and you went. <laughs> Having flies is kind of fun now. I'm Batman. Flies, come here. I don't have 24,000 volts or nothing. Did you get one? Ah, he's toasty. in his death throes there. Gave up the ghost. Now he gets the funeral treatment. Boom. Oh, it's right it's there. It's still, it's damaged. <laughs> I don't think he can fly. Yeah, he's not getting up, up from that either. Hey guys, this is my really good friend, basically my bestie, Sunny Smart. She's the best. You're We're the best. here in Boise. We are doing an expo. They do it every year, but we are selling LuLaRoe this year mm -hmm. at the expo. So I'll show you around. Fit One started as just a women's race, I guess. They have the 5K, 10K, marathon, half marathon. It started for women, kind of promoting women's health, and it has changed over the years. Um, for the past five years, Ellie and I have participated in this, in the 5K. We walk with a group of our friends. We have so much fun doing it every year. Um, so I'm, I've been really excited to be able to participate in it this year. We probably won't be doing the 5k, but we get to come to the expo. So both Ellie and I are so tired. It has been such a long day. In fact, it's been such a long two days, huh, Ellie? My feet stink. Her feet hurt, my legs hurt, I'm tired. She got to see her friends. She has some really good friends here in Boise and she got to hang out with them for a little while. We did a punching thing and I went. <laughs> they fought, punching. <laughs> So it's been a really great day, so tired, 
In fact, we're back at our same restaurant that we started today with, and we're having sandwiches. We're gonna chill and have a good time with our friends. So, it's been a good day. Woo!